Hey, hello, welcome back, everybody, to Whole Out of the Dragon Queen, our D&D uh, 5e weekly campaign. And let's see what's up. Um, when, we, when we actually get a cast on, because they're going to be on the other different audio line. There we go. Um, what's up, guys? Whose line is it, anyway? Usually not Steve Pashimi's, because... He's not on that show. Okay, so... Well, <laughs> technically true. You guys are still in this mess. A wounded crowd giant that you made oh. a uh, deal with came down to you and told you that hell has broken a loose up on top and everything is fighting with everything else. Basically, the, um, the cult of the dragon and the wrath of Chris, this is men and uh, ogres and half giants are also oh, rock giants have been fighting the cult of the dragon queen and they're going to hold it up in the castle and they can't break the lines so is there any way into go. the is there any like aerial way into the castle um well, so you are you literally all of the party is now in front of the crowd giant you can ask him whatever you want i mean you could probably Don't like you control this castle can't you sort any way to get us in there? Uh, I don't go through the castle. I just... Put it like this. This castle... And he pets it. Um, this castle is alive. I don't control it. I just tell it what it can do and what it should do. But it decides what it does. Okay. Wait, wait, so, wait, wait, um, wait. If, if is like the castle if, sentient, it's like his dead wife or some shit. Um, yeah, it's, it's powered by his by, by whoa his dead wife. Okay, okay. If you wanna if you wanna talk about if you wanna talk about the the, the castle, talk in character or out of character, not both. Um, Brutus like, is a little sexist. Like, He's like, wait, just, wait, wait. The castle's your wife, and you can't tell it what to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, you. Brutus is sexist. He grew up in a. He grew up in Baldur's Gate, which is a sexist city. Is it? Yes. Don't know that. Stop battling around. Like Get to it. Um. Okay. If we like, if we talk to him about like where the positioning of it is, it the lower courtyard where they are, or like is like anyone in the lower courtyard, or is it all in the upper courtyard? They're all in the royal courtyard, in the castle. All in, in the, the lower courtyard. courtyard. Yes, some of the weapons they've gone out. They sent the uh, dragon souls uh, out to the weapons. Managed to escape before we could get them. Don't dragon know what they're going to be doing. Before dragon wings with weapons. Dragon souls, I think they're called. The ones in purple robes. Do not we fight dragon wings? Uh, you fight dragon wings. The dragon souls are, from what you know. Uh, basically the upper hierarchy like Resmir and uh, Resmir is the only person higher than a dragon soul in this whole place dragon souls are like top rank in the dragon cult so Talos is below a dragon soul uh Talos? who are we talking about? oh Talos yes Talos is not a dragon soul um so is not like Bornfrey is not a dragon soul they're both above the right? Uh, no, they're both below. They're below a dragon soul. Yeah, they're below a dragon soul. Dragon souls are extremely powerful from what you've seen of them. They haven't actually fought them yet. Well. That's fine. It's gonna be fine. Let's fuck them up. Okay, so, uh, um, okay. what do you guys do? I guess we, we go to the lower courtyard, unless you guys. Any other ideas? Can he get us up I mean, if, there? If, if, we... if we made a deal with the giant and the deal was to fuck some shit up, let's go fuck some shit up. Yeah, um, so the lower courtyard, we can easily just travel through the pathways and get to. Yeah, uh, so you travel to the lower courtyard and uh, he basically points towards the gate and towards the watchtowers and says, like, this is... My men are still keeping them. Um, also, he What's points... What's this area, Chucky? Wait, what? Where? What's this area? Point? 6B. This area, like that I'm pinging. Oh, oh, uh, do you need to go there to actually find out? It looks like it just shoots out of the fucking... It's where the dragons go to poop. 
That's, oh, that's the dragon the latrine area. area. So the women can fit through these tunnels the way we're going, right? Um, yes, the women can fit through where you're going. Uh, you basically okay. come up uh, over on... Let me point it out. You basically come up over on here. And as I said, he the, the sky points towards here and says, We hold this and the stables. But... And he like he motions to the right. They have the whole inner castle, the cultist barracks, and there's a lot of cultists in there. Don't know what will happen if you attack frontally. If he can wait for the cover of the night, that could be good. But at the same time, they might be more ready until then. They might be more powerful and in better positions. We don't need surprise. We have fireballs. We just need them grouped up. Pew, 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 pew. <sighs> you just killed him. Either way, if you die or don't die, you at least weaken them enough for us to kill them. Okay, um, so I guess we go into the courtyard. Um, if we stand, like, at the stairs, do we see anything? Uh, so you stand at the stairs and you look to the sides. You don't see, you don't see anything. It's complete silence. Is as if it's the calm before the storm. Okay. Um. Oh, I hear somebody I... shouting in the background. Do I see anything? Uh, Brutus, you actually see people up on the walls around here, uh, like and looking through arrow slits. Uh, but arrow slits that are made for giants. So that's basically an arrow slit that's as big as. Uh, they're basically windows. <laughs> but they're basically windows. Yes. <laughs> There are people looking through them, uh, and they haven't. S uh, they have not seen you yet. Uh, well, I, I back up, and I'm like, I point out the the arrow slits to everyone else. I'm like it's an ambush. And you can see in front of the b uh, barracks, um, there's a oh, it's completely barricaded. Like the the cultist barracks have beds and barricades up set up in it's, front. So the giants are. Hiding in the cultist barracks, right? No, 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 no. Uh, the stables are being held by the remaining ogres, uh, okay. and the two rock giants and iron golems are holding the gate. Down Wait, they have iron golems? Uh, yeah. the, sorry, the stone golems, not iron golems. Stone golems. That you saw at the beginning, if you remember. The stone golems can't move away from the gate, uh, so that's the ideal spot where the rock giants are keeping the giant ballistas aimed outside into the courtyard. Got it. We should we should put the stone golem like strategically. We should send the stone golems out first for just bait, pretty much. If we can make our way to the iron, um, the stone giants, then we can probably kind of figure out a, a strategic plan from there. Well, we can't though, because we'd have to get all the way from like here to here, right? Yep. Um, is this place barricaded? Uh, it seems that the doors are bulging towards your side. You'd say there's something behind them. It doesn't seem locked or anything. From this mm -hmm. side, at least. Uh... So what do you want to do? I don't want to walk out in the middle of an ambush, but I, I'm, I'm not seeing a huge they number say of they, they hold the stables? Couldn't we just go there and ask them what the situation here is? Well, yeah, but, but there's problem is that in 10, 11, and 13, there's people in arrow slits ready to shoot us. We still have tons of potions of invisibility, right? We have one. Don't we have one, a few? One. Also, I have a potion of gaseous form. Come I have on. a potion of resist um, physical damage. You could go there with your potion. I, 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 I have a and ton of money. You can cast, you can cast invisibility. Yeah. Rostami has a useful ability in this context. I know, I know. We don't, we don't all have to go in there. Just one of them, you know, one of you can go check things out and then come back. Yeah. Uh, do the stables have a roof? Uh, the stables have a roof, yes. What kind of roof is it? Um, it's an ice roof. Everything is ice. It's a nice roof. It's an ice, Very good. ice roof. <laughs> oh, ice roof. Ice, everything is ice. <laughs> I some, it's a nice roof. I was like, oh, that's the best description I've ever heard. <laughs> an ice roof. Okay, got it. So, the cultist barracks is clearly barricaded with cultists in it, and this is where the stone giants are. 
and the stone golems. And this uh, is where the remaining. Yes. And the remaining ogres are in the stables. Uh, from what he's telling you, he has forces up in the upper courtyard, but he has too few to actually mount any kind of attack uh, unless somebody creates a distraction or basically unbalances them so they can jump in. All right. Well, why don't we go back to the giant and I'll be like, okay, so here's the, the plan. Giant is I'm there. Gonna... Remember, like, the up... Remember the stairs and everything is giant sized. Oh, that's right. Okay. So he's there. Like, you're the ones that are too small for this. So how about I fly out the back entrance with Rastani on 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 uh, Flighty, and he fireballs the cultist barracks from the air. That'll be a good distraction. Kind of like it, son. Kind of like it, down. Okay, I have a plan. The giant can toss the dwarf all the way over to this barracks. Dwarf tossing. All right. Yes, and we have the giant toss the dwarf, and we have the stone giants come out and attack the cultists as they're getting fireballed. It's perfect. <laughs> I thought I was uh, in there, to be beat, honest. I, we, I'm not very really fond of tossing it. Uh, we beat that no, no, no. Dwarf that. tossing is a long honored giant tradition. It'll, it'll, well, be a, it'll increase our diplomatic value. Re regardless, I think, I think someone needs to get over there to communicate with the stone giants, unless you have another way, Mr. Cloud Giant. Stone giants won't move from there. Look, stone giants are going to attack any human around. That's the orders they gave him. But he's well, a dwarf. That's fine. I'm a dwarf. She's a dwarf, rather. <laughs> what about me? You grow a beard sometimes. It's hard for me to remember. They, put they it like very this. Confused, like, are we going to attack it or not now? So put put it like this. Right? Anything that's not a giant or an ogre, they're going to attack. I couldn't get to the... They attacked the ceiling room. So I've can they the read? If I brought a note rooms. from you, would they like understand it? Checks is said. <laughs> All right, so we have to get you over there to change their minds, basically. He nods his head. In this condition, I'm not going anywhere. We need you Can't to. You, don't oh, you have spells to get over there? You're, you're just. You're, how much HP does he have? Oh, He's not looking good. It's, it's not a matter of HP. <laughs> just ask him, like, on a scale from 1 to 200. Yeah, on a scale from 1 to 10, how not healthy are you feeling? <laughs> Choose a target. Wherever you go, you'll create an imbalance. I suggest going for Resmir himself. He seems to be the one holding the fort. I thought Resmir was a girl. <laughs> Imbalances aren't where? inherently advantages. And you know where that, right? is Resmir? We don't it's know. It's one of the first things you he learn points, in He points around here. Right? Seems to be the brunt of the forces. If he goes up to the cultists and the barracks, my giants will skewer them down with their, uh, the stones and okay, the posters. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, is everyone ready? Okay, five, I, four, three, two, one, let's no! go! No! I, no! I dash, I dash <laughs> along the walls here. Um, oh my God, I no. dash along the walls here and try and get to the side of the wall. And I kind of put my back up against the side of the wall. Okay, so do you try and be stealthy? Ah, uh, no, I, I just dash. I dash! Would like, I would like to dash slowly and stealthily. <laughs> okay, go. you see your friend dash away. I, I don't move. The crow giant <laughs> says, <laughs> has begun. Go R talk R to your forces, and he starts going up. The wyvern, come on. Yeah, I'm on the wyvern. All right, I'll, 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 I'll go. You want to get on? You want to get on the yeah. wyvern? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's right. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I if Rasani gets on the wyvern, I fly straight up and over to the number nine. I'm I'm going to to dash after Alexander, and I'm going to try to actually overtake him. Bastard. Okay. okay, so like I'm I'm up against the wall, so like the, hopefully the archers couldn't just be like. like uh, shoot me. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, nothing shoots at you, definitely, uh, and you fry up. Uh, They're surprised by how can... stupid this plan of attack is. Brenda, what do oh, you yeah. do? <laughs> this, this well, I'm, I'm running. You're running where? I've, I've already decided that none of our characters have, like, above 10 and except Rostani, and Rostani's just like, I just want gold, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I have been trained in the arts of war for my entire life. It doesn't matter how dumb you are, there's certain things you don't do. I was I was trained in the art of fuck evil up, so let's go fuck <laughs> evil up. This is, why no one this, is why, this is why no one likes paladins. It's time, boys. Hey, this is the new kind of paladin. The edgy adventure type. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we have to go find time. we have to yeah, find there. Ultron and destroy Ultron because Tony Paladin Stark made him. Okay, <laughs> so uh you move out and you move Tony out Stark with you wyvern. Um I mean Tony Stark is certainly a paladin. He lays his hands on everything. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, a only initiative. Because there's gonna be a lot of initiative rolls right now. Okay, it's gonna be an extremely <laughs> big turn order. Oh uh, so we have, to, we have to share this with chat. My wife just painted this. I don't see it. The cake is why the cake this is This is what away. she does when she's drunk and has spare time. It's and a pretty good drawing of cake. That That's should make all of you horribly jealous like it does me. It's a pretty good wow. drawing of cake. Yeah. I want some cake now. <laughs> I think the reference is a bit overused though. Maybe that's just too indie. It's too mean. <laughs> it's, a, it's such a meme at this point. So we're Change it to uh, like, Sorry, oh, sorry right, there's going to be, there's gonna be a lot there? of initiative like right now. Just give me one second. <laughs> hello? Are you still there? There are some people who are suggesting hello, are you still there should be added somewhere. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> you could do more than just that. She's, like she's going to do a whole. She's going to do a whole new painting now to incorporate these new ideas. The portal tarts are so cool. Like when they're like ah, and then they're like falling around shooting things. I like that. I like those tarts. That cool. Sorry, I didn't You're fine. We're doing initiative. Yeah, there's me trying to find <laughs> the... Chucky's trying to find character sheets. Yeah, and I cannot find, for the love of god, I cannot find Taris. Uh, I, well, I roll Taris's thing, so let's see about the other ones. I'm actually wearing my portal earrings today, so that's kind of a coincidence. That is a coincidence. I'm pretty sure one of um, GLaDOS's weird head things, like computer systems, actually recites the recipe for cake if you leave it there long enough. It just recites the recipe for making the cake. That oh, wouldn't surprise me. There's lots of weird things. I mean, I don't think it's the, that kind like it, of cake. In um, Portal 2, you can find like a tape deck that plays a modem signal, and if you actually put it on a real modem, it actually like brings up a website. It's a little Easter egg. There's all sorts of Easter eggs in the Portal games. Okay, I need to There's one more. Go to like, there is one where you can save the companion cube, I think. It's really complicated. Might be a glitch. Well, there's a bug. Yeah, there's there's a couple of bugs where you can set the companion cube. Okay, so I rolled for everybody. Oh, found Taris. Good. It's a good game, though. There we go. Good okay, game. so, uh, initiative from everybody. Uh, Brenda, what's your initiative? 13. You're getting okay. advantage on initiative, right? Uh, it's still a 30, like. <laughs> yeah. Oops, tiny. What's your initiative? You get a, wait, you get advantage on initiative? Yes, no, I do. You also can't really surprise me. Rustani, what's your initiative? It's it's from being a barbarian. And like... Uh, okay, Is Alexander. that really a barbarian? Yeah. yeah, it's called barbarians barbarian. Barbarians get advantage on initiative. Alexander, it's what's like your initiative? Natural instinct. 14. Natural they get a bunch of yeah. weird stuff like that. Yeah. They're like, barbarian 19. thinks large about battle. Have instinct. What's your dexterity modifier? Plus one. Okay. Feral nice. Okay, so this Ooh. is this might be one of the biggest initiative rolls I've ever done. And, oh, Feral in five years. Can you show like the initiative on the thing? This is how many four. people are on the initiative. Well, am I last? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm. I, I just wrote all the values and now I'm putting them in order. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have. You can put them dragon, in order on the turn. Dragon thing, so cultists. Uh, I need to add all the tokens. Dragon Cultists first, then we have Brutus, then oh, we shit. have uh, Erex. No, so Taris the White. Fuck you, tell us. Taris is gonna be next, <laughs> then we have Captain of Felsen. Okay, Alexander. Uh, 14, who's next? 13. Okay, Brenda, what's your, initi what's your dex modifier? Uh, 3. Okay, so Brenda is next, then Raf Modar. You have not met Raf, you have actually seen Raf Modar, but have not fought him yet. Uh, then we have, on a 10, we have Rostani. On a 9, we have Resmir. On an 8, we have Bornfrey. Where's me such a slow boat? So, reading it out again, tell me if I'm skipping anybody. 
Dragon Cultist, Brutus, Taris, Captain of Ferson, Alexander, Brenda, Raph, Modar, Rostani, Resmir, Bornfrey. Is it the cloud gonna go do anything? Uh, he's already gone up the stairs. Oh. Whatever. Okay, so, um. So our let's plan, see. uh, Justin, was to, like, fireball people in the cultist barracks. Like, yeah. yeah, apparently they're barricaded in there, so that's a structure full of, you know, low level. Is it, is it, is so it open though? Like, you see, it be, like, you, you see, know? so basically the, it's not open, no. Well, the roof's made of ice. If you start melting it, it'll the whole roof will crash in and kill them all for crushing damage. So, the, you're, you're above. You're above there, and the dragon cultists see you. Uh, a lot of them see you, and they uh, start going back inside. Do you know know exactly what they're doing? Um, and that's the dragon cultists in the cultist barracks turn. Uh, the rest of the dragon cultists in the castle again move out and start reporting stuff around. Again, you don't really know what's happening. Brutus, it's your turn. You live in yours at the same time with you. How? I, I was going to ask that. Okay. Well, I'm sticking to my plan, which is flying over the cultist barracks so that Rastani can get his shot off. Okay. Uh, uh, so you fly over on there. Wait, wait, do I see? Do I see anyone? Actually, on no. Right now, at, at this there's point, no cultists. At this point, right now, you see nobody. Well, no, because I saw people in in ten and eleven, right outside of the arrow slits. Mm -hmm. You saw you saw people in ten and eleven outside of the. Uh, the As I'm slits. flying by, I toss a javelin at one of those people. Yeah, there, there, there still might be one over on there. He has he will be half half covered because he already started moving away. Fourteen is a miss. Did I hit? No, no, fourteen is a miss. Okay, and I'm done. Half cover is what? How much AC? Two. Plus two. Plus two. Okay. I'll bring up the cheat sheet. Tip tip to do do. Okay, so let me see. Um, exactly. Uh, how how high are you flying up? Brutus, how far? How high are you flying up? with you within? Uh, what's the range of fireball? Like sixty feet. One hundred and fifty. 150? <laughs> I will fly as high up as I can. Okay, so there's no reason uh, for me to be like uh, close. It's a good thing R Rastani has um, featherfall prepared. Yep. Ever. Yep. I I haven't gone what? without featherfall since we stepped what? into this castle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so next in line after that, what you see happening is that a group of uh, cultists. Surrounding Taris. The, now Taris is not dressed in those black robes anymore. Taris is dressed in those white, complete white snow robes. No, she fought a bellower. No. She comes outside. She looks at you and points a hand towards you. And hundreds of insects start flying towards you. Okay, and about what kind of insects are we talking about a here? twenty foot radius sphere of insects. Just per perfect for fireball. <laughs> okay, so I want you to do all of you, including your women, maybe constitution saving throws. Do I get to them on that turn? Uh, yeah. Uh, Taurus is the next one. And she yeah, but, a yeah, spell. but how, if I can, they travel to me. Like how far? I'm, no, no, no. I'm it's not so many. It's a spell. And the okay. range of the spell is 300 feet. Ah, uh, I get it. 22. For my there we go. Hey, everybody else? Let me look Const up Wyverns. Constitution? You go Stani and Wyverns. Yes. Constitution. Uh, well. Okay, you Wyverns have that. plus 3 con. That's actually fairly impressive. Roll it. And no bonuses to any particular saving throws, though. This is not impressive to me. <laughs> so the, the sphere. On average, appears, that's fairly impressive. It, it just appears around them, right, Chucky? Yeah. It, it, it's, like, it's more like, as I said, insects come around and just surround them in a 20 feet square. It's just not, it's not like... I suppose insects. 12 isn't a make. Uh, 12 is not a make. And let me see how much damage... If only you were within 10 feet of me, son. If only you were on this wyvern. <laughs> I don't think it could. I'm a bit too heavy. I'm actually just going to go right here. So I had to run off. I just, I'd charge them, it's not running off. Running off would be a cowardly action. It would be like riding a woman further away from the enemy. How cowardly. <laughs> It'd be like having a plan. The oh, horror. No. I take nine damage. Okay, you need, yeah, you take nine points of damage. Oh my god. Uh, oh, no. 
it, the it sounded so bad when you're like, ah, oh, so a mixed Roman insect, like, ah, the they bee. They go quite, <laughs> quite well. Uh, also, you see nothing like around you. The area uh, is the obscured. Obscuring? Yes, okay. the area is obscured. Uh, it's rightly obscured from where you are in it, and you can see like a bit outside of you, but you can definitely not see like down where you wanted to aim your fireball, for example. I didn't know Swarm of Insects was a spell in... in it's uh, Insect Plague. Yeah, it's Insect Plague. Okay, next in line, after uh, Taras' turn, is going to be Captain Othelsen. So, uh, somebody you haven't met yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let me give you a small... I am dessert. Captain Othelsen. <laughs> Othelsen. <laughs> I'm Captain Othelsen. <laughs> oh god. Uh, let me see if I can find <laughs> his description of that. Yes, that is so, that is his name. Obscured provides cover, but it doesn't actually prevent line of sight. It prevents line of sight. It's um, he said it was lightly obscured. Yeah, it's lightly obscured. Lightly obscured does not prevent line of doesn't prevent us from seeing out. Yeah, the main thing can hide heavy, inside it. Heavy obscure, like you know, a big yeah. fog or like heavy rain or darkness. Or so something. we can well, see like, out, and we actually have cover from people shooting in at us. Yeah, this uh, seems like a net win for us. One second. Um, uh, you guys are taking forty ten. That's three d ten damage. Oh, okay. So, Captain of Ferson is a man, um, black skin man with short <laughs> hair and a big black beard in his hand. He has a mace that runes on it glow. He's dressed in complete plate mail, golden and purple, and he's riding another weapon. Days. I don't like women. I kind of look at him like up in the sky and I'm like, hmm, Brutus would like that mace. <laughs> <gasps> I would! I would! I would! I would! I would. Okay. Uh, Captain of Felsen rides up with his. Uh, he's, he's basically like, in one of the windows on the castle. And he rides on. He goes up on his wyvern and seems to just stand in there at the moment, just watching. Um, after Captain of Thelson's journey is Alexander. Alexander, what do you do? I drink my potion of physical resistance. And I, I quickly move to the other side of the door. Like, pull arm ready. You can, you can even, like, miss this step, right? If you want to. If I have to see the place for me to do it. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Okay, so, so you move to the other side of the door. Uh, do you try and open the door? No, I, I, I just have, like, pull arm ready. Okay, you have your point already. Uh, Ready to in... stab anyone that comes out, just be like, Gah! Brenda, you're oh, well, like, less than like, bang, bang. I mean, can I make it just as far as Alexander does? You can be on the other side of the door, right? Because you have like 40 movement speed? I have 30, 35. Oh, 35. Because I'm a dwarf, you know? Oh, yeah, true, true. You get five. Yeah, you, you, you get probably could have made it. It's, it's 10 feet across the door, right? So. Yeah. I'd assume so. You could be on the other side of the door, right? That's technically what I was, I was like aiming for. Okay, so uh, I go. mean, nobody apparently decided to throw me, so I have to run. <laughs> okay, so you run to the other side of the door. You said not to! <laughs> yes. Um, that was out of character. I would have loved that, but she doesn't, so I mean, so. <laughs> Touch the dwarf! Now, you see what you guy. see is uh, somebody you remember. Um, you, Rostani, and you, Brutus, you remember uh, this man. He comes out, he's dressed in red robes, the sign of the Wizards of Fae on his forehead. Did we kill this guy? And he has a big... No, this is actually another red mage. Uh, he has his whole how do we robe. Seems, because you see him before. Shut up and let me finish the description. His whole robe <laughs> seems to be an actual armor. An arcane armor, and his staff is glowing deep uh, green light. Do you uh, the, know this who man, like that staff? Me. <laughs> this man is Wrath Modar, and you've seen him in the Raider camp. He was actually mo even more imposing than Wesmir herself. No oh, fuck. Eh. We'll kill him and take his staff. Uh, We're gonna okay. die, boys. He uh, looks up. And there, he looks down at Taris, and he just smiles. He raises up his hand, points it towards the wyvern, and 
casts a fireball. Oh no! Oh. Rastana should should um, should should have learned up your elements. No. Ninth level fireball. Oh, counter spell. <laughs> Ninth level fireball. <laughs> okay, give me uh, give me dexterity saving throws. Women included, I guess Chucky was dead. Oh, I think a twenty makes it though. Wait, uh, oh. he, they're fireballing me again. Nice. Uh, they are fireballing the women, the the only one they see. Yes. Oh, but I'm guessing. I mean, it extends towards. Yeah, us. I mean, it, it includes us. It includes yeah. everybody. We are inside. on the wyvern. Yeah, like. I'm um, so oh, the deep also, saving throw for this night. Also, twentieth uh, level wizard. Brutus, you eight, recognize eight, the description of the staff he has. I fail and the uh, uh, You recognize the description of the, of the staff he so has. The staff of fire? You know the staff. This is the staff of fire. Okay. And he. There you go, Justin. You wanted to know where that was. I, I did. I'm very happy. I, I actually wanted to Not know. Not in where character, it. but. I actually <laughs> wanted to know where the staff is. Now I know. <laughs> Hooray. What kind of. How much damage does, do? does this fireball do? Okay, let me see. He's casting it from his uh, little staff. His little just, stick. just a his regular. Little stick. His little stick. <laughs> he, just, he just points his crotch out like. Phew. 28 points of damage. Uh, so Wastani, you only take 14. Jesus. You only take 14, uh, Brutus, and roll. the. No, I take 28. You take 28. That's yeah. a decent roll. The Wyvern, uh, put it like this the Wyvern at the beginning of combat has 66. It's average, actually. No, 66 plus 39 or something, right? No, no, no. no. 66 was what he had left. His uh, max was 120. But he had, a, he had a long rest. He didn't have a long rest. We all had a long rest. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. After you're that right, fight, you said right, we had sorry. to restart. You're he said full health. Right. That's you're why right. I asked how much HP he had. So he that's, is now at 100 HP. Oh, if I'm correct. Right. I'm not He just took a ton of HP. Yeah, he has. He's at one HP 100. Uh, after this damage. No, no, 120. Sorry. Um, wait, 28. Oh, you want to just give me his HP and I'll do the math? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 120. That's the max. <laughs> okay. You do the Done. math. Done. Okay. Good. Awesome. So next in line after Raph Modar comes Rostani. Rostani, Taris. Does uh, his fireball clear out the, the bugs? Uh, no, actually not. It does not. They're magical bugs. It's fine. Yeah, of course. So, uh, Taris, yeah, the I, white I, I is beneath we'll you. Carry, we'll carry through with the plan. Okay, do it. Fire, um, fireball down there. Uh, direct the fireball towards the barracks, like, uh, like, uh, like in the middle. I like so. Well, actually, is is Resmir surrounded by other cultists? Oh, uh, you don't see Resmir. Oh no! What is the guy who fireballs? Whatever his name uh, is. Uh, Raf, Raf Modar like is next to the captain of Felsen and his wyvern. Like basically, they're in a window looking out at you, captain of Felsen, to the side. Captain of Felsen actually bowing, like deeply bowing, like bowing as he would even break his back. That's how deep you he fireball bows. Fireball, that makes much more threatening. <laughs> Are they standing like close to each other? Uh, yes, you'd catch them both in a fireball. Uh, might actually. If if they're like. Uh, this like... might be ahead of the snake situation. We cut off the head of the snake, and we just basically win. Where like are the so... stone golems? <laughs> so so just uh, just um just do like uh, this how. How many were like how many of the important people like standing close to each other? So not the important people. I'm just gonna give you the exact description of what uh, the, how it, how this is all going. It seems like all the cultists are like the cultists and the cultists backs are behind Taris the White, uh, and she is standing in front of the barracks and gathering all her men. Um, it seems like Raf Modar, Captain of Felsen, and the Wyvern are standing in a windowsill. You don't see Resmir yet or Bornfrey. Okay. So, alright, so, but Rathmodar was like in the window, you said? Yes, Rathmodar is in the window. Okay, and Talus is rallying her men? Yes, Talus is rallying all the cultists. Um, okay, well, I think we'll do a change of plan. Uh, let's see. Come on, you have six seconds, you're surrounded by bugs, you're being fireballed, go! Okay. Uh, I will, uh... I will actually uh, 
So how far away are they from us? Like, how far away is Talus? Uh, so Talus uh, is right. Yeah, that's Talus over on there. Uh, this is Raph Modar over on here. This is Captain uh, on the Wyvern. I don't. I don't. Oh, okay. You're, you're drawing. And the giants, the stone giants over on here with the arbors. And that's about it, I think. Uh, your friends are, so you guys are up like above here, something around here. So Justin, uh, can you actually draw yourselves? Draw your own, like, draw little names where you are. Check On this one. Okay, so what do you do? That's me. I'm actually checking error. That kind of looks like a bee. <laughs> looks like squiggle. <laughs> so I'm inside the barracks now. I don't think I'd like that idea. <laughs> hmm? If we're like max range, right? Max. It's a mini bee. Wait, why, why did why'd you why move my bee? bee? Oh, that's Buddha. Sorry. We're <laughs> flying above the <laughs> barracks. I was... No, you're now down. You know, you know, now down Come on, on the earth. Rastani, what do you do? Come on. That's how it works. You turn is slipping by. <laughs> and Rastani's right on top of me, so. Yeah, and we were like 150 feet up, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You're 150 feet up. Come on, tell me. Yeah. My other spell doesn't actually reach that far, so really awesome. You can ready it in one of my room when I move us closer. If you want to cast something different. That's, so, um. So I was thinking of casting, uh. Summon elementals and just fill the the whole area with like. Uh, oh, that'd be really funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, can we like? Can I hold? Is just, it just, um, just, just ready the action? But like, let's, the, like, let's go a bit faster. Ready, ready the fight is to Cast con your minor elementals and just fill up the whole area around Talos. When, like, when do you uh, ready? What's your condition? Being in range. Okay, being in range. Cool. When I when I when, I, when I'm in range to cast con your elementals, which is ninety feet. Uh, I will cast it down. Uh. Okay, awesome. Actually, Talis goes. I mean, this is like she went before us. I guess I. Can, I guess I can hold it down until. Yeah, I'll. I'll. I'll we're getting range on Bruce's turn. I'll cast uh, Condor Elemental. Holding a spell counts as concentration, so if you get attacked, you could lose it. I know. Before you cast it. Okay, so next in line after that, uh, we have uh, Wesmir. So the door actually does open there towards you alexander and coming outside are what seem to be four guard drakes two of them which are extremely bigger than the others okay um can i make an advantage take against one of the bigger guard drakes not because... advantage attacks normal attack because you they know I'm, do they know i'm here do I not uh, they somewhere? open it the door opens inside yeah and they, they come out and then like when they're out i just shank them in the back when they're coming out. The, the eyes of a drake are on the side. Do they just come out and then they're like, oh, we, they know we're here. Yeah, like, the, 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 the eyes of... Them. Put it like this. The eyes of a drake are on the sides. Like, they come out, they see you. Like, the, the eyes of the drakes are not in front. They're on the he side. He attacks the snout before the eyes get past the line of the door. Hell yeah. <laughs> and it's like... Shing. So, no advantage? No advantage. No, no, because the other scouts managed to tell them, like, where you are. They saw you from the okay. windows. It's a good thing that big guy drakes can speak scoutish. Is it 13 to hit? No, uh, you can see Wesmir and Boring Frey, like in the back. Is it 13 to hit? Uh, 13 on the guard drakes. Well, let's find out. Uh, for, for, uh, 13 is actually not a hit, no. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. My squire is still in this area. Okay, so. What's he next in the one? Oh, sorry, their turn because they still need to attack as well. Uh, they start moving and two and two. They move two on Rostani and two on Alexander. Uh, and they start doing a bite and tail attacks. You don't mean Rostani. So, no, mean Rostani, I mean Brenda. <laughs> Brenda, a. Uh, this is a miss. <laughs> Brenda, a 15 they, and they a go 16. Okay. They go before you, yeah. Alexander is Sentinel, right? Both, both misses. I used my reaction just then. Oh, that's true. Okay, uh, Ax Alexander, a 19 to hit on you. Is that a hit? A 19 is a hit, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a shield. I don't. I don't even have a plate. Oh, we need to get you some plate, man. You take That's six fast. points of damage from that? This guy has plate. He has golden plate. You six take, points? You take six points of damage from the, uh, from the guard I, I take three. 
Okay, after the Godrakes um, comes Wesmir. I'm herself. assuming the potion works, by the way, Chucky. I'm assuming that I have resistance to all You have damage. resistance to all physical damage, yes. Okay, cool. Let me but, see. Oh. I mean, they can't just all walk through the door, right? No, no, like they're, they're keeping a line. Uh, like the, the guard is like literally keeping a line in front of the Did, door. Didn't Brenda ready for an attack I, for when something came in no, range? I didn't ready, no. I you didn't. just ended your turn? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Wesmere um, moves out. In all her brilliance, a dark, scaled half dragon, horns break to the side. Her great sword, on in her in her hands, the great sword is flashing dark white. Where is she? Uh, she is so basically. These are where the like in front of here are where the Godricks are making a line, and Bornfrey and Wesmere are in the back. Okay. How many Godricks outside right now? Uh, four. Four. They're making a line, like a defensive line, in front of their masters. Uh, they, Rizmir can't actually see me because I'm behind full cover to her because of the angles. Yeah, right? but it was like I'm like standing there, like, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She, she can see weapons. So, put like this: the Rizmir is now wearing a mask, but this is very different. Is it a white the mask? The mask on her face is black. But oh, okay. exactly the same as the white one, but black. It depicts the face yes. of a dragon. Its eyes blink as if the face, as, as if the mask I itself it. is I alive. Oh is god. I have the feeling that I should have magical <laughs> items to fight this. <laughs> oh god. You have magical stats, Faye, don't worry. Magical yeah. stats. That is going to fix it. And I okay. have magical. She moves in front. AC and in she's, going, she's going to see Belinda because she, he, she's moving on this side. Uh, and she's just going to raise up her hand and point oh. towards Belinda. And a oh. bolt of acid moves from her hand towards Belinda. Brenda doesn't like this. <laughs> no, it's actually a bolt of poison. 18 to hit. Wait, is it. Um... No, no, it's not poison. No. It's, it's acid. It's a caustic bolt. I want it to be poison, but it's not. Is well, 18 a hit? No, it's a miss. 18. Okay. Is 18 a hit or not? Is no. it a miss? Okay. Yes. He did, you, you just put it's your shield in front. she or she? I never know. She. It's she. It's a she. Okay. Cool. It's a she. It's a she. Who, me, me or Resmir? Black mask. She. No, I'm talking about... Okay. Resmir. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens next. Uh, when we have the giants turn. The giants take out their borders. And start flowing, and when they throw start, them at the mage. Uh, they start throw throwing them. The, they, they can't throw the mage. They start throwing their giant borders at Taris and her men. Uh, so we have just tell us. Rocks, rocks attacks. Do 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 do. Let's see. Okay, one's a natural one. The other one is a definite hit. And Sorry, Chucky, you just got flagged for copyright. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got flagged for what? What did I say? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, a rock falls, and one of the Everyone cultists... Dies? No, no. One of the cultists around uh, Taris is just crushed to death. Uh, so there are currently only... Uh, 11 quarters swept along Taris and Taris herself. One second. Now we sing like happy birthday and then we get him banned from Twitch. I can play it. You can tell he's, <laughs> oh, you can tell yeah. he's speaking Romanian. I can totally play yeah. happy birthday for you so we can get him banned. Uh, sorry, happy Chucky, we just sang happy birthday. You might you. just get banned. <laughs> okay. So, next in line after Wesmir, uh, that really the giants someone? attacked. One yeah, of someone the cultists like, um, died. Lots of people get like taken, sh sh taken down because they sang happy birthday. And the I half ogres, know. the half ogres shoot the ballistas. Wow, natural twenty and seventeen. Another two cultists die. You mean Talus? They aim at Talus. No, they don't aim at Talus because they're making a, the cultists are making war around Talus. Um, Damn it. That okay. sounds like a solid plan. 
stupid. They're like, human shield, <laughs> like, defend, and tell us, like, ha 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 ha. Next in line, next in line after Wesmir, uh, the giants, and now Bornfrey. Uh, Bornfrey, who's to the side of uh, Wesmir, is going to move up and fight. Um, right. Wesmir is going to move up in here, and he is going to see you, Alexander. He's and going how? To, because I'm ten foot, I'm ten foot to the side against the wall. It's a ritual, like your. Remember. But this is all giant sized so 10 foot to the yeah, wall him i'm 10 foot to the side to the wall him so being even if he fear. moves like here he shouldn't be able to see me he has to come all the way out to see him yeah put it like this but i mean he him can here, do that he can see you because the line of the the line of the things are here like the line of the uh guard drakes so are in five front foot, of that five foot long or how 10 foot long the guard drakes yeah. one second one second the guard drakes are the guard drakes are medium creatures so only covering five feet so okay, which... so the five feet. So he's back behind the wall still. No, he's because they're in here, and he is right behind them. He can see okay. you from there. Either Keep way, on. these guys gonna die. Let's see what happens. And he's going to be casting magic missile at you. Yeah, fucking bitch. That's a six-level spell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, magic missile. Um, let's see how much you get. No, that would make him insane high level. I know. I'm just kidding. Get your first six level spell at eleventh. There we go. Oh, sorry, not five. Ignore the last one. Uh, so just choose six. Uh, so fourteen. Six, nine, <laughs> fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Ignore the last one. Okay, um, cool. Dragon cultists, more come out around Taurus, uh, and they are mounting an attack. About 20 of them are now on the roof itself, and they're running towards here, towards the giants. All of them have grappling hooks in hand. Next, so, after... Uh, are they cultists running away from Talus? No, no, they're not running away from Taurus. They're mounting an attack against the giants. But there's still cultists around Talus, right? Yeah, nine of them are surrounding Talus. Twenty of them are uh, currently on the geez. on here, and they're running towards the giants. Oh my god! That's fine. The giants can handle themselves. You guys started both fights at the same time, so. <laughs> Brutus, it's your turn. All right. Um. So there's. There's like nine. This. Wait, no, I'm, I'm I'm drawing. I'm in, I didn't meant to ping. There's nine cultists here. There's twenty cultists attacking the giants here. Rus, uh, Romani, whatever his name is. Stani. No. Romani. Romani. Resmir. Resmir. And, uh, Res yeah, Resmir. Resmir. So, so there's three big bads in this room. Wasn't Resmir here? Resmir is there. That's Raf Modar. Yeah. Oh, who's this R? Uh, that's Raf Modar, the <laughs> oh the God. mage. And okay. who's, who's the best Rizmir guy that attacked me? Uh, Born so there's two big bads in this room plus a whip, right? Didn't we kill Born Frey or Born no, 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 no. If you remember correctly, Born Frey. No, we killed the other red mage. I don't remember what his name is. <laughs> okay. Too many bad guys. Too many, too many bad guys whose name begins, whose names begin with R. Yeah. Um. So where, uh, uh Rosani, where did you want to cast those elementals? Well, I thought it was just like uh, call this over here. I thought, it well, I mean, hmm. you saw. I mean, there are there's nine cultists, cultists yeah. right there, and then yeah, twenty no. on the roof over here. Uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll constrict Talus, I think. I want, I want to get you in range. That's my. That's my. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So I fly down. I fly down to near Talus. Yeah. And then his elementals go off, and we can do that first. Okay. We have to, elementals do, we have to roll initiative for, for the uh, elementals as well. What kind uh, of elementals are there? We roll initiative for uh, the We'll do mud methods to restrain their movements and get them restrained so they can't act. Um, so I have to make a. They have a dex of one, so. 20 plus one. Plus one. They go, at a t they go at the same as me. Okay. So so they they should go now then, right? Do they act immediately? Uh, no. No, they can't act immediately after Wait, you Wait, what's, what's your dick? It's plus one. 
so they should go at the exact same time as we did. Oh, but I, I'm acting. Yeah, I'm acting on Brutus's turn though, so they don't they don't go now. They they go when uh, I go. They'll be going. Yeah, they'll be going when you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll plop now. them down. I'll plop them down like sur like surrounding them, so like they're like in them. Because yeah, like in a circle summon. around them. Okay, how many of them are, are have you just uh, summoned? Uh, it's eight of them, basically. Okay, awesome. So, uh, oh, so they're, like, they're like in a uh, little clung surrounding. Like there's like at least two on Talis, like you know. Yeah. Good. So can't, like, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Cool. And they're a bit. Yeah. Yep. That's good. So what's he? What's next? When uh, Brutus's turn and uh, weapons turns go. How much do you move out? You, you have to drop down 90 feet for me to cast it, so. Yeah, I know, I know it's fine. I actually fly you to don't within. Actually, wait, you don't actually have 90 feet unless you use all the movement. Like you, unless you use two. Uh... I can tell my wyvern to fly as far okay. as I want. I can make Just 100, 160 is your max. He has a fly speed of 80. Yeah. I'm fine. He can totally, totally drop. I mean, we were at 150. I had to go down to 90, at least. So he can like, he can fly. He can totally fly down. With yeah, he can. He can move. Movements. He can move 70 more feet if you want to. So as a bonus action, I cast. No, actually, I can't cast because it's not a cantrip. Okay. So I fly down until I'm within 15 feet of every single cultist plus the T guy whose name I can't remember, and I cast Spirit Guardians, and end my turn. Okay, you cast Spirit Guardians, and you end your turn. Uh, now this is gonna be a fun one. This is now Talis's turn. Uh, she starts her turn in your Spirit Guardians, so she does a saving throw. Yes, she does. And she actually manages to make it. Are you sure? She rolled Takes... a 17, and she's a cleric as well. It's right. half, right? Well, it's a, it's a wisdom saving throw, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's a cleric as well. Whatever. She takes six radiant damage. Okay. But now we're like down, really down, like you know, really close to her, right? Fifteen feet. Yeah. Yeah, but as long as long as nothing happens to us, we should be able to kill every. My spirit guardian should kill almost every single cultist. So, what happens? Is, useful. is well, that she yeah. she smiles yeah, yeah. at you, and I smile back. Your <laughs> your spirit guardians. How do those spirit guardians look like? Uh, my spirit guardians look like big beefy gladiators. So what happens is that she casts Spirit Guardians as well. And her her Spirit Guardians look like white dragons, white small warming dragons flying around her, attacking everything. Well, you three in special. I smile, I was like, I already killed one of these today. Okay. Um, and next in line after Talus, because that's her only action. Um, she's gonna be moving a bit out to the side and to near you, still keeping you in the Spirit Guardians, but staying as far from you as that she can. That would mean the Wyvern would get an attack of opportunity, right? No, because she... The no, Wyvern... the Wyvern's not adjacent. I mean... He's within 10 feet if you're within 15. He's no. a large creature. Uh, you are. Actually, he's right. Like, physically, that's how it has to work. Yes, but you're not in front... You remember that there's a shield of cultists around here. That's on top. You could then drop on top of her. But the uh, tail Wyvern... just needs to attack. The tail, women has 10 foot on tail. Just attack it. You did not specify that you were right above her. What? You That's have to be thing. to be 15 feet away. Yeah, in order to be 15, oh, in order to be 15 feet away, because oh, right. the wyvern have, is have, large, you have, you have the wyvern point. has to be with, uh, you have a good point. 10 feet of her. Okay, so she yeah. doesn't move at all. She's there, you both cast okay. your guardian, so let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, There's Cap also like, uh, methods around her. Like, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Captain of Felsen. Do the, do the Mephits take the d6 damage? They will on my turn. Or in their turn. The it's not their turn right now. The creature, the, uh, sorry, Captain Mafel uh, Felsen, uh, does not do anything, seeing that you're fighting Taurus, and Taurus is most likely leading a suicide attack. He just stands there waiting for <laughs> He's to finish laughing at her. He's like, oh, we've been trying to get rid of you for weeks! <laughs> Thanks for saving us the trouble! <laughs> Um, you have a bonus he does. He does actually, actually get off the wyvern, and he starts moving down. Could you could you have healed by the way? Uh, okay. Just. Yeah. Up. Did you need me to? I'm pretty low. I don't know if I could have. I mean, it's only D4 plus three. It's not like. It's everything helps. So if you had a bonus right. action, I would have. Is it, is it okay if we could have done that? Is it yeah. is it important? Uh, Six. Right. It's actually a pretty good roll. 
Yeah. Okay. It's so next in line after Thank you. Captain of Wilson, Alexander. Okay. I move within 10 feet of the mage that just cast magic missiles on me. Okay. Uh, you are right. Actually, no, if you do that. No, you can't do that because you can move in front of them and then close in. Yeah. Okay. So you move, you basically like to the side of Brenda right here. Uh, and the attack range of two of the other creatures and the attack range of Res or of uh, Born Free. Twenty plus the Quelic. Seven. I'm wondering if Chucky's really going to roll twenty nine Wisdom saving throws for the cultists on their turn. <laughs> yeah, you can roll it, and uh, you're, I don't you're think not. Really... You can't. You can't do that on the all the twenty nine. You're doing it on only the one in your Taris. Okay, what do I what do I Chucky, see when I move no, into it? No, 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 Chucky, Chucky, you said that there were 20 attacking the giants and they were in the tower, right? They, I'm within 15 feet of Talus and them. No, the dude, this is not to scale. This is oh, a it's gigantic not to scale? map. Oh, oh, I didn't know I didn't know it was oh, scale. Oh, the five, th this is, that's five feet. 0 0.6 is five feet. Well, no one told me it wasn't scale. Look at the small door where, like, four meters. <laughs> it's for giants, though, don't worry. So, wait, how big, is, how big are these squares? Uh, each squ each the squares are five, five feet. feet. Oh wow! Okay. So this yeah, map is a tenth of the size of the actual map. Right. Well, I still get nine of them then. It's fine. It's you still it. you still okay, get um, ten in total. So what can I see? How, how many creatures can I see when um, I'm so faced with this? You can you can see four like four of the uh, guard drugs in front of you. You resume to the side, born from to the other side, and you can see cultist behind, uh, currently being led by Captain of Felsen. Uh, his wyvern behind him. He's moving towards you. He'll, he'll be okay. there the next turn. I make two attacks against this wizard Reno. It's a 13 to hit. Okay, let me see. Born Frey. Dramoil Born Frey. 18 is a hit. 18 is a hit. D10 plus 4 plus 2. 1, 1D. Damage. I do 17 damage to him. And awesome. As, good. A, as a bonus action, I blank 30 feet this way. Gotcha. Or like 30 feet this way. Okay, so you, be, you basically leave like, <laughs> goodbye, Brenda, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, meanwhile, my squire, my squire attacks um, the same wizard for 21. Okay. Uh, wait. This, oh, your squire has a bow, yes. Yep. yep. A magic bow, no less. For 10 damage. Well, Bornfrey is not looking that good. Fuck okay. you, Bornfrey. So it's he. He should move your squire back so he's out of line of sight. For okay, he, he moves like to the corner, like tiny bit. Yeah. Brenda, it's your turn. Yeah, so I guess I, since I don't have reach or anything, I can only really reach the four dragon guards, right? You can only uh, reach the four guard droids, yes. Yeah, I'm just going to. I mean. I'm just going to pick the ugliest one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. There's bigger I ones think, and smaller yeah. ones. Yep, there are bigger ones and small ones. The ones in front of Resmir directly are much bigger uh, and seem more powerful, while the other ones in front of Bonfire are smaller. I'm just going to take one in front of uh, a small one. Yeah, I take a small one. Um, first attack is well, probably a miss. Uh, 12 is a miss, I believe. Let me, let me check real fast. We're rolling bads yes. on these rolls. I think 21, I hit for 21 is a hit on the guard rake. Uh, I mean, she could have reckless attackered. I could have, yeah. But then she gets a shit ton of advantage attacks against yep. her as well. Okay, we're going to finish We're gonna finish this initiative line. Like, one, two, three, four, five. No, five more break. turns, and I'll take another break. Did I say that I rage? No. I didn't say it, right? Yeah, I mean... Okay. But well, I still you, can, you still have yes. a bonus action. You can still say it. So, yeah. You can, you can still rage before you do I'm the damage. Just good, I'm just doing my bear rage thing. I'm not going to repeat that. Um, but yeah, I do eight damage. Eight okay. points of damage, damage to one of. We are not rolling too well. Nope. We are the. Like, we like, need some fire control, over here. Ground control needs some help over here. <laughs> we need some fireballs. Or oh, walls of fire. Whoa, walls. I don't know. Is it possible to fireball over there? <laughs> Maybe, if you get over under. Uh, so after, after Brenda is Rathmodar, he just stays there and does nothing, just wraps. 
he seems Does quite he continue concentrating on his Plague of Insects? He, he, he didn't do the Plague of Insects. The Plague of Insects disappeared. Okay. It was uh, Taurus who did it. He's drafting his ass. We're fighting too many enemy casters. <laughs> Wait, Talos has 5th level cleric spells? Yes. Fuck. These guys are all stronger than us. <laughs> Why? Oh. So Individually, but they're all against each other, whereas we are a mighty fist. And each of them is just a finger on its own. All we, all we do, is, all we do is fist people, and then they just Ruff finger Ruff Modar yeah. just stays there and smiles. He seemingly is waiting for some kind of outcome over on here. Uh, he's waiting for some kind of dragon to come. He, he's, gonna, he's, he's, he's being methodical. He's just gonna take, like, no, he's gonna make the others do the fighting and then they're gonna plop out and just take out the, the weakened one. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Bustani, what do you do? Oh, I thought we were gonna go on a break. Oh, no, we're gonna finish the, the round. It's like Bustani, Melfit, okay. Resmil, Giants, Bonfit. Alright, so. Uh, There's a lot of people. So all of your elementals <laughs> has to go. Uh, I think we go at the same turn. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, your turn at then. the same time. So you can yeah. you can, can go. Seven poison. Your. Uh, so. You, so. I have to roll for Talus's thing, right? Yeah, you have to roll wisdom saving throw for spirit guardians. Don't the Mephits also have to do that for Brutus's spirit guardian? Why would the Mephits have to do? For How many can you choose? Because you have a number of people that you can choose. No, I don't. It just says I can designate allies. Oh, I totally so yeah. Fail. Yeah, the Melfits what were. Does her, what does the Spirit Guardian do to me? Uh, fail. It's three d eight damage. Yeah. Do 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 do. I don't know if you have any special resistances or anything. Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, no. it's three d eight necrotic since she's an evil cleric. No, it's uh. Wish I wasn't Azamir. No. Actually. <laughs> It's 3d8. You, you can't even cast it as a higher level spell to increase it. It's always 3d8. You do realize you can. Oh, you actually can. When you cast you, a spell using a fourth level spell. So she cast it as like a fourth level spell? No, but she already did the... Oh, okay. Yeah, she already yep. cast it as a fourth level spell. It's only no. a It's. I take 18 points of damage. Um, I am not yeah. down, but... Roll saving throw as well, concentration. Yeah, yeah. concentration. DC 9. Or no, DC 10, because, yeah. Hang on. We're hanging on. We're oh, hanging on! I really wanted mm. my Mephist to go first. You, They could have. They have the same dicks as you. You just chose not to. Yeah, they can I, go first. Hey! I, I didn't say anything. I was just like, oh, no, you're going to go first. Like, of course. Like, no. Well, I, I meant that it, it, it's your turn to do things, but you yeah. can make your elementals go first. I, yeah, I, I literally, actually, I literally no, said actually, that you can it, do it. It could be important if his elementals go first because um, yeah, they could hit control. Talus and break her concentration. Therefore, he wouldn't. Yeah, do that's it. what I, I wanted to do. But that, that, they that need to do the saving throw as well. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. They're not within. Uh, that yeah, within. But, they, but they should go first. That's my point. Yeah. Uh, which we, if the attack, uh, if the attack Talus, yeah. they're in it. Yeah, right. I know. I understand that. Of course. Yeah. But they should still go. They should still go before Simon. No problem. They're probably not die. That's my save with elementals. Oh, okay, so that's a fail. Uh, okay. That's not, a, that's not I will, a fail. I will roll their that's a HP. Fail. Oh, wait. I thought you mean the save for the concentrating on it. Uh, okay. Wait. So what, when you what, roll... did, what did you summon? Elfits. Mad methods. methods. How many? Spell that. 16 points of damage in all of them. M-E-P-H-I-T. They have more than that. I know they have more than that. Just make sure to take out 16. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and what do, what do the Melfits do? Uh, they shall all uh, use their mud breaths to restrain uh, the cultists. Okay. Uh, does the mud breath have a range to it? Do they come... Uh... They have to be, in, they have to be in within, within 5 feet. Okay, so they need to be and in the range. They have to... So... I'm I'm taking like so there's like nine coldest and a talus, right? Yeah, so basically Talus is surrounded and there's also a couple of them to her side. But now I could like basically where you are, they're trying to protect her. They're, there's a circle around her. Yeah, but they can be on they can be on top of her, they can fly. They can't fly. They can fly. They can't fly, that's a thing that they no, can they, do. They they can fly. They can fly twenty feet. They have twenty feet flying. 
Oh, no, the, the Melfits. Melfits. I was talking about the the Not cultists. The magnets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about the cultists. Sorry, Melfits. Yeah. No. Yeah. The Melfits can fly. <laughs> the cultists. Yeah, the cultists can't. I really have okay. One. Okay, uh, uh, just tell me if they're in melee range with the cultists because they have weird actions. They have to be in between five feet. Okay, so they do have, they do get attacked by uh, swords when they come near them. They, I can, I plop them on top of them. Yes, yeah, so they're yep. already, in, they were summoned in threat range. So, yeah. oh, but the ready to action goes off if it's a ready to action. Yeah, you, you attack anything that comes near. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so there's currently nine cultists, so one of your Melfits is going to take two attacks, while everybody else is just going to take one attack. Uh, let me do... so nine... So complicated. Yeah, because yeah, this is this, this is what combat, happens... Holy shit, there's so many things going on. Yeah. This is because you attack both at, uh, both of the... Chucky, what's their modifier? Uh, let me see... Dragon... Um, five. Five. Plus five? Plus five. So that's five. Five, that's five hits, five misses. Anything above, anything above a six, anything six and above hits. Okay, right. so oh, I uh, made a mistake. Um, one misses, one misses. Of course. No mud methods. Mud methods have an armor class of eleven. Yeah, so Which I can. It takes an extra six damage. Oh, anything above a six, right? Who yeah, takes an extra six mean, damage? Um, whoever I hit with my attack. Born Frey. Okay, no problem. Oh, uh, okay. so much so, going on. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is what happens when you have big combats. Uh, so now it's combats see. with shit ton of spellcasters and yeah. summoning fucking extra minions and yeah. So what we're we gonna do now it's... is I'm gonna just one attack, and the attack is gonna be like for all of them. Six. Um... So he's rolling damage, right? Yeah, I'm rolling damage right now. So you have five hits, and your damage is they they all have twelve hit points left. Okay, so they can, they could be killed one shot by this. Yeah, so I'm gonna roll it fine. then one by one, one by one. Sorry. So there's gonna be one d six points of slashing damage and one d six points of cold damage. Are they immune to cold damage? They are not. Okay. No, they're only immune to poison. So yeah. fourteen on the first one, eleven on the next one, one eight, death. twelve, two deaths. one, two, three, four, another three. Uh, why, so, they, why do they all get attacks? Four deaths. Uh, because had, nine attacked, only one missed. Well, they uh, had a ready action, no. apparently. No, several of them missed, Trekkie. Uh, he just said anything above a six hits. Any die above a six. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. You, you, had, you, had, you had five hits total. Only, so yeah. One, only, two, only three, five four, five. So, two die. Or, two, yeah, two die. Two die? Yeah. And when they total. die... I want those. I, I want any anyone within, within five feet to make a dex saving throw. So it'd be three. Oh each of any of your milfits are uh, three. Have three cultists next to them. So there's gonna be six saving throws. Uh, two makes on the first three. One fails. Anyone who dies. So like four many, billion people just saw that. Get rude. So two two of my methods died. Okay, two okay. of them have died. Yeah, six saving yeah, so throws then. So six people, you said, had to make saving throws. Yeah, and, and on the first explode. ones, 19, 19, 8 on the natural dies, 2, 16, 8. So three make, three fail. Okay, so three. So they are restrained until, uh, well, until the creature's next turn. So like, until the next turn, they are restrained. Awesome. And restrained means that the speed is zero, regardless of bonus attack against, have advantage, target attack, have... Okay, so next, after that, um, we have, well, I well, mean, funny. Still, you it, still have your not, turn. I mean, come on, the, the methods haven't gone yet. Oh yeah, you're right, completely. They haven't I, even attacked. I'm just crazy, <laughs> I'm going crazy. They haven't gone. even gone yet. Go you're, on. Just, you're making uh, reaction attacks here. I'm making reaction attacks, I'm completely crazy. Yeah, they're, they're remaining, they're remaining six of them? Six of them, yes. It's gonna, it's gonna... In that case, uh, gonna belch out with their mud breaths against a target, and it's a. Did the I missed it? Did the guys who die have to roll saving throws for restrained? Yeah, the old the old saving throws. Yeah, they have the... yeah, 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 the old saving throws. So many numbers. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry for this. Uh... So there are six muff. I'm, I'm gonna go I, net for a bit. I, co I command them to breed two two on Talis. 
Talos <gasps> have to be uh. Talos has to make two dexterity saving throws. Okay. So eleven or higher. Three and twenty, so one of them misses. So she is restrained for one minute, but she can repeat the saving throw. Uh, and Each then end of the, the turn. Four, yeah, until the creature's next. Mm -hmm. Does this or, count as an until attack? The end of, and, and until the end of its turn. Does it do any points of damage? Like, does it need no, a concentration? No, it's just restraining. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Okay, cool. A, it, it was meant for a crowd control, but we are probably messed up a thing here or there. Um, <laughs> they're, they're, what? They're, they're, the four others will take a whatever cultist is near. So make four other deck saving throws for the cultist. Uh, 12, 6, 9, 7. So one makes. Okay. So, the guys... so you have three restrained cultists. You have a total of six restrained cultists. Yeah, and Taurus is restrained as well. Death first. Yeah. Okay. So why that? So I'm now gonna it's my turn. Okay. Yeah. So... Wow. <laughs> Man, you know, now, now, now I have to make my DC. How is it? Like 10, right? It's yes, like, uh, it's 10. Not 10, yeah. Go it's exactly 10 or higher. Yeah, because yeah. you're. Yeah. Melfits, Melfits, Melfits are still there. And you take 18 points of damage from the Radiant, you, if yeah. you haven't noted Necrotic. that down, and go on. And Necrotic, still yeah. Alive. I'm still alive. Do I. That. I will turn my gaze to the to the other cultists who are shouting the giants. I'm gonna fireball them. Which cultists are you fireballing? The twenty cultists who are attacking the giants. Yeah. Who are all grouped up? Like they're all right here, with grappling hooks, trying to climb this tower from the roof of the butt barracks. And exactly. exactly. So he can hit all twenty of them. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Get fried. How many? D six. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, 20 foot sphere definitely can yeah. hit them. Yeah, <laughs> it's enormous. Definitely. Uh, it's More numbers, it's one below average. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I think the cultists actually can have a max of like 20 HP, so... Mm. So the saving throws might matter, but... Yeah, so 14 DC. No one makes it, hooray! Uh, they have a modifier of 3, so... It's a fail, Dex, fail, like. fail. Yeah, Dex, the Dex is supposed to be. One Do they get disadvantage if they're grappling up something? Three, no. Four, <laughs> Why not? Five, <laughs> five <laughs> six, because they haven't grappled yet. Two, three, four, okay. five, six. Five, you have six successes, Chucky. Yup, I know. You have three natural ones in there. <laughs> I know. Okay, so six I successes, so those definitely we will. Only taking 13 points of damage. So uh, the, the other 14 others, die. The other 14, wait, they don't die yet. Don't 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 jump like that. How should we jump? Take take it easy. Uh, twenty seven does not actually kill them. Um, none what? of them on their average, but they are extremely wounded. Most of them are within death's door. Like you will find. Not this again, Chucky. Not yeah, the death door. Death door. Death door. <laughs> oh, it's so close okay, to so dying. 16, you guys should keep attacking. Sixteen so underneath. Cool. I'm just going underneath. Sixteen underneath. Five yeah. HP and six of them that have. No, uh, half their HP. I'm, I'm guessing restraint doesn't mean they can't cast spells though, right? Uh, restraint does they not can cast mean spells. They can do everything, they just can't move and they just. It yeah, has just. Yeah. Uh, creatures who are restrained have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Yeah, attacks okay. rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's yeah. attack rolls all have disadvantage. But as long as they're casting, like, saving throw spells, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so, no good disadvantage. Does, like, does Guardian have a dex on them? No, it's wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. Like, we don't have the synergy, but yeah, it's no. I, I, I could have, I could have done magma methods, but they they wouldn't have been as many of them. Okay, so could have done fireball. Ooh, it's me. Could have done fireball. It would have wrecked them. It would have hit us too, because we were in the range of fireball. It would have been. Well, no, but I, your trigger was as we approach, so it would have attacked yeah. before we got in range. Yeah, sure. It's fine. So um, it would the be guide drakes. Exception. Move oh, around Brenda. Wow. Uh, all three of them moving around Brenda to your side. Uh, one behind you, one to your side, and uh, one diagonally. Uh, and in front of you moves Westmere as well. Uh, currently being flanked 
So let me see, you get four attacks, uh, sorry, no, eight attacks because there's a multi-attack on the Godrakes. Eight attacks from the Godrakes and the attacks that Wesmir has as well. Sweet. Okay, so first two attacks, uh, Godrake, 19 and 15 natural, so I'm guessing those hits because that's a 20 and a 24. Yeah, both okay. hits. Okay, I'm just gonna roll all the attacks. 17, so that's not another bite attack. Another 17, another bite attack. An 18 and a 10. So that's oh another God. Are you four bites me? and one tail hitting you. Yes. 48 plus 12, uh, that's the bite attacks. And 1d6 plus 3 on the tail attack. And now Wesmir moves in front of you, raises up her greatsword, and you can see dark energy emanating from it. And she attacks you. I teleport that full 30. So what? I said, did you teleport the full 30, or did you end up like just... I teleported the spot into the corner sector. Okay. Okay. With an advantage, she rolls a 9 total. Wow, okay. It's, uh, sorry, no, 12 total, but still. It's still on us. She fails. Holy one, two and a free natural. Uh, so if she fails her first attack, does she have a multi-attack? She does not have a multi-attack. Nope, doesn't have a multi-attack. We cool. Okay. Um, so next in line, after uh, Resmir's turn, come the giants. The giants are gonna take up their boulders and throw them down into the cultists. Uh, Which group of cultists? The ones grappling towards them. Okay. Just check. Okay, all of the boulders hit, and half of the cultists of the 20 are dead. Only 10 are remaining, and most of those severely wounded. At the end, of the giant's churn, Wesmir howls. She raises up her. She raises up her sword, and from it. Is Wesmir getting like a bonus turn or something? No, no, no. Legendary actions. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh my god. I hate <laughs> legendary actions. She raises up her sword and. 60 feet around her, darkness. You see oh, absolutely babe. nothing. That doesn't sound right. What? What do you mean? I mean, the okay. action doesn't sound right. You sure it's not. That she you sure no, no, that's it. That's it. You sure it's not 60 foot of. Like, the range is 60 feet, but the radius is smaller? Oh, you're right. Sorry. I'm completely. Yeah, you're completely right. Hey, it's a 15 feet radius. Um, okay. 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 That is different. For the record, there is a high-level monster that's like you fight at like level fifteen that can has a similar effect, and its radius is only fifty feet. So <laughs> there is an actual sixty feet spell that you can do. I'm saying that level five. I'm saying that I'm saying that seemed a little strong for the kind of fight we're in. And last but not least, Born Frey is going to go in the back over on here because he's quite wounded. And so where's this magical darkness? Uh, this magical distance is around Brenda and Alexander. Okay. That's fine. They are completely in the Although, actually, surrounded. she can't get both of them. Yeah, we're not within 15. I'm, like, in the very back of the corner. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's... One second. It's not, it's, it's not a scale, but, yeah, he teleported 30 feet away from Brenda. Yeah, I know, I know. Just zoom in. No. Should, uh, so, so, zoom it in, and you see the corner is here. And it's one, two, two, three, one, four one, squares one, between us. Two. Okay, so maybe he could get both of them. No, no, he literally here. This is, this yeah. is where Brenda is. This is another. So he could get both. Of them. Yeah, because it's a fifteen foot radius, right? Not a fifteen. I'm in the very corner, fifteen foot so... radius. Okay. Fifteen foot radius. Oh yeah, radius. Yeah, true. So it's like a it's like a pocket of darkness in the corner. That's exactly. Really weird. But okay. Okay, and after that, we have Born Free moves inside because he's quite wounded, and that's about it for our second. Actually, yeah, let's take a break here because a two hour video is going to be long on YouTube. <laughs> I can't tell about that. So we're we'll gonna take a small break. See you guys in soon. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Wow, you really think we can do this in half an hour? I don't think so. Hey, it's still going. It